Where is Yingluck Shinawat? These are the last pictures recorded of her car as she arrived to report to the new military government as ordered. A senior military official informed Al Jazeera that she'd been detained but then allowed to stay at her home under military supervision. An army spokesman on the record would only say she was being held but treated well, pointing out that 150 personalities from both sides of the political divide were being detained. You just want to you know, give them some time to think over of the issues so that they can uh, be more relaxed and um, we look after them uh, very well, VIP treatment, and it would not be very long, they would be set free. They were held when Army Chief Prayuth Chan Ocha decided they could not agree on a plan to end the political crisis and that the military should take the place of the government. I can say that it's not easy for him to do this. And, and we can, from then until now, we can see that it's not quite well prepared before. So it's an unprepared coup that uh, he just decided to, to do it. Still, a few hundred people did protest, this time against the coup d'etat. Soldiers and protesters stood off for several hours. Up to then, the military had been conspicuous by their absence in the capital. Troops remain in place, armed and visible, even though this is a major intersection in the heart of Bangkok's commercial district, and the protesters have already left. It's the start of the first weekend since martial law was declared and the coup was launched. Thailand's 67 million subjects may take the opportunity to express their concerns about the future direction of the country. Veronica Pedroza, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.